This is the obstinate side of Shaggy Ann. We've been sitting in this spot, this exact spot for about four minutes, but we spent at least four or five minutes earlier sitting right in front of this tree. I finally got her to move about 10 feet. She's waiting for the squirrel to come down that she saw go up and leave dust, bark dust in its wake. Fortunately, this walk is about her, so I'm letting her sit there, although it's taking up time from our actual walk. And in spite of the fact that we are loitering at the entrance to our neighborhood. This is probably how Shaggy Ann was about her woods. These are my woods. I'm sitting right here. I'm not leaving. This is my sonic sidewalk. This is my Waffle House sidewalk. And I'm not leaving. Well, until El Dodd comes and gets me. She is one stubborn <laughs> shaggy. Oh, she thinks I'm going to let her go back over to the tree. She just knows it's going to come down. But we have about two or three more minutes and we'll have to head back over to the house. You can see it in the distance. <laughs> shaggy. This squirrel is not coming back. Are you ever going to give up? <laughs> I should have not walked to get the purr in the camera because she just got to move closer to the tree. <laughs> shaggy. Shaggy. I, oh, oh, oh. I have to go to work. Part two. We've moved a little bit, but now she's made herself at home. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy Ann. Come on. No, no, no. Not closer. <laughs> Come on. We have to go home. Come on. Come on, Shaggy. Don't be so stubborn. She says, my mom is still there. Please don't make me go. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. No, no, no. This way. <laughs> she does. 